Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're asked to find the equation of this tangent line at this point. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the derivative of this equation, and that's going to give us the slope of the tangent line. So doing that, we have y prime, our derivative, and that's going to be equal to, for this term, we have a power function. So you take the coefficient, you write it out first, and you multiply that by your exponent. Then our x term is going to be the old exponent, x squared, 2 minus 1. Same thing with this term. We have another power function, so we have minus. Our coefficient is just that invisible 1. Bring down your exponent. New exponent is the old one, minus 1. So same thing for both of these. Bring the coefficient out, bring the exponent down, new exponent, subtract 1 from the old one. Now we just simplify this. 3 times 2 is 6 x to the 2 minus 1 is x to the 1, x to the 1 is just x, minus 1 times 3, be minus 3, x to the 3 minus 1 is x squared. Now we want to find it at this point, this is just the general derivative, we want to find it when x is equal to 1, so y prime of 1 is equal to, now plug in 1 wherever you see x, 6 times 1 minus 3 times 1 squared, 6 times 1 is 6, 1 squared is 1, 3 times 1 is 3, so 6 minus 3. 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. So now we know our slope. y equals 3x plus b, just for the equation of the line. y equals mx plus b plus b, plugging in 3 for m. And now we, since we know x and we know y, we can plug them in to this equation and solve for b. So doing that, y is 2. That's equal to 3x, which is 3 times 1, plus b. Now we can just solve for b. 2 is equal to 3 times 1 is 3, plus b. Subtracting 3 from both sides, we have b is equal to negative 1. So the final equation of the tangent line is y is equal to 3x plus b, which is negative 1, so minus 1. This is going to be your equation. And what should you expect when you graph these two? So you graph this, you graph this on your graphing calculator on the same screen. You're going to notice the slope of this curve at any point is going to equal the value of this curve. So if this curve is increasing, this cur this, the value of this is going to be positive. When it's decreasing, the value of this is going to be negative. And when it's going from increasing to decreasing, say in a parabola, right, right here, the value of the derivative is going to be zero. But that is just what you can do on your own with your graphing calculator. It doesn't really show up well on this screen, so I like to leave that to you. Um, but as always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.